the Large Hadron Collider was built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, also known as CERN. It's the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It first started up on the 10th of September 2008, and remains the latest addition to CERN's accelerator complex. The Large Hadron Collider consists of a 27km ring of superconducting magnets, with a number of accelerating structures to boost the energy of the particles along the way. CERN, the European Physics Research Centre, recently upgraded the Large Hadron Collider. The upgrade comes six years after the Collider managed to provide scientists with answers to a riddle, when it confirmed that the Higgs boson exists. Scientists claim the upgrade would help in boosting luminosity of proton smashing experiments at the Large Hadron Collider 17 miles underneath the border of Switzerland and France. It should help to boost the amount of particle collision tenfold, which would give them a much clearer picture of the subatomic world. It's just been announced that a new super collider has been approved by CERN, and what's interesting is that it makes the current one look tiny. This new collider will have a circumference of over 62 miles, meaning it will be four times bigger and much more powerful than the current one. However, this isn't going to be cheap, with researchers estimating it's going to cost around $23 billion. Sen said the following about the news. Such a massive machine would produce copious amounts of Higgs boson in a very clean environment, it would make dramatic progress in mapping the diverse interactions of the Higgs boson with other particles, and allow measurements of extremely high precision. They continued with the following on their website. The future circular collider study is developing designs for a high performance particle collider, to extend the research currently being conducted at the Large Hadron Collider, once the latter reaches the end of its lifespan. The goal of the FCC is to greatly push the energy and intensity frontiers of particle colliders, with the aim of reaching collision energies of 100 TeV, or tera electron volts in the search of new physics. The FCC study hosted by CERN is an international collaboration of more than 150 universities, research institutes and industrial partners from all over the world. The study will elaborate on different possibilities for circular colliders, new detector facilities, the associated infrastructure cost estimates, global implementation scenarios, as well as appropriate international governance structures. The FCC examines scenarios of three different types of particle collisions, hadron, proton, proton and heavy ion collisions, like in the Large Hadron Collider, electron-positron collisions, as in the former LEP, and proton-electron collisions. One question that people have asked is where is this money coming from? Officials said they will be getting backing from EU member states, but if it comes to it they may have to reach out to countries like China. For years now there's been worries that this machine might create something devastating. Various media outlets suggested that this machine could be capable of creating a black hole, with CERN themselves admitting that although this is unlikely, it could happen. CERN even said that it would be great for science if this happened, as it would give them a chance to study possible extra dimensions. Interestingly, scientists have recently come forward and said that our universe may be nothing more than a silver sitting within the edge of a bubble that's constantly expanding into a higher dimension. Scientists said that human brains cannot truly understand the full scale of the universe, and perhaps never will. The universe extends over many tens of billions of light years, and many people can't wrap their head around this. Understanding the structure of the Milky Way has long been a challenge. The solar system sits on the outer edges of one arm in a disk material, and no one can see across the dense centre to the other side. The Milky Way does not sit still, but is constantly rotating. The solar system is always moving through space, meaning the Sun and the solar system travel with them. The solar system travels at an average speed of 515,000 miles per hour. 
even at this incredible speed the solar system would take around 230 million years to travel all around the Milky Way. Bear in mind this is how long it would take to travel just one galaxy. In the observable universe there is estimated to contain 200 billion to 2 trillion galaxies. This gives you an idea of how monumentally vast the universe is. One startling revelation made by quantum physicists that has converted even the most optimistic individuals is the concept of the multiverse theory. When pondering the mathematical implications and probability of a universe forming as well as other theories in regards to dimensional mathematics, physicists began positing a thought experiment forward. Why did our universe form with these specific rules? With these specific numbers and laws of mathematics? Scientists believe that the odds of this occurring are so astronomical that it's far more probable that every variation of every possible universe exists to allow such occurrences. What's even more interesting is that researchers believe they have evidence of the multiverse theory occurring in the natural world, given the complete probabilistic determination of quantum mechanics and its properties such as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and the formation of virtual particles. This could very well mean that every possible variation of every universe and every decision ever made could more than exist, and could potentially one day be explored. Going back to black holes, these massive celestial bodies have interested scientists for years. The theory behind black holes was more than just shrouded in mystery, and it was not until a man by the recognisable name of Albert Einstein helped humanity to realise that space and time are interwoven and connected in something we refer to as the fabric of space-time. The mathematical theory of mass then being able to stretch and distort this fabric, similar to that of a rock resting on a cloth led to an innovative idea. When scientists picked up on the gravitational waves they stated that it allowed them to study astronomical events occurring in the universe. The researchers said that what they were seeing was the merging of a black hole and a neutron star. At the moment more study is needed, but if this can be confirmed it's thought this could help us to confirm that black holes and neutron stars can coexist in a binary system. One of the researchers said the following about the event. It's like listening to somebody whisper a word in a busy calf. It can be difficult to make out the word or even be sure if someone whispered in the first place. What some people may not be aware of is how big some of these black holes are. For example, there's a black hole that's known as SDSSJ, and this black hole is so massive that it's more than 12 billion times the mass of our sun. Researchers began to wonder how such a large singularity forms if our universe is believed to be only 13 billion years old. Today, the black hole continues to be one of the largest, youngest black holes out in space, and is believed to be even younger in nature if we were to visit it. However, given the distortion of space and time, it would be another 13 billion light years before any information could catch up and show us its true size. This black hole is incredibly far away. One light year is around 5.8 trillion miles, or 9.5 trillion kilometers, so it's fair to say we won't be able to get anywhere near it anytime soon. CERN said the following about black holes on their website. Another way of revealing extra dimensions would be through the production of microscopic black holes. What exactly we would detect would depend on the number of extra dimensions, the mass of the black hole, the size of the dimensions and energy at which the black hole occurs. If micro black holes do appear in the collision created by the Large Hadron Collider, they would disintegrate rapidly. Some theories suggest a particle called the graviton is associated with gravity, in the same way as the photon is associated with the electromagnetic force. If gravitons exist, it should be possible to create them at the Large Hadron Collider, but they would rapidly disappear into extra dimensions. Collisions in particle accelerators always create balanced events, just like fireworks with particles flying out in all directions. A graviton might escape our detection, leaving an empty zone that we notice as an imbalance in momentum and energy in the event. 
So what do you make of this news? And do you think we should be building these circular colliders? Some are worried that we are experimenting with things that are beyond our knowledge, and that it could have bad consequences. While others have said that we should be going down this path, and exploring areas that we don't fully understand. Going on to say that it could lead on to bigger discoveries. Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.